I'm Gillian, your Garden to Glass plant explorer. Garden to Glass is a sensory tour of the Bowles Conservatory. While the tours are on hold, we hope you enjoy this virtual visit. Today we're celebrating Arbor Day, a day where people throughout the world are encouraged to plant trees. In the United States, we celebrate Arbor Day on April 30th. I'm starting out here under the swamp white oak out on the Morse Terrace. Did you know that a native oak can support the caterpillars of upwards of 500 species of butterflies and moths? And in turn, those caterpillars support about 96% of songbirds. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Come with me, we'll go into the Bowles Conservatory and take a look at other unique tropical trees. Come on. This is the seed from the Cordaribia cordata tree, or as the locals in Ecuador know it, the chupa chupa tree. Now, I've got a juicy story to tell you, but you must promise to keep it a secret. We might have a bit of a logistical problem here. No? <laughs> All right then. <laughs> so, back in May of 1998, John Worth, the original curator of the conservatory, was on a plant exploring trip in the remote jungles of Ecuador. And while he was perusing a market in the foothills of the Andes in this small little town called Zamora, he came across this fruit. Now, it had a juicy orange pulp with a sort of a mango melon flavor to it with a hint of strawberry, and he was instantly in love. So, he stuck it in his pocket. That's the part you can't tell anyone. <laughs> with the thought of bringing it back here and planting it when he got back to the United States. So, he wrapped it in an wet paper towels to keep it viable while he was still there and about a week later when he got on the plane it had already germinated so he brought it back here planted it and it is now the chupa chupa tree this 20-foot towering tree you see here before you now john worth was able to take several trips in his tenure here at the conservatory and he collected plants from belize Peru and Ecuador, and a handful of them are still here in the conservatory. You can see them if you visit. Now, it's probably no surprise that there are a number of plant nerds who work here in the conservatory, and one of those is the former assistant curator, David Dewsnap. And his particular passion plant is the ficus, which doesn't have a particular reputation for being very sexy, but it does serve a vital ecological importance. First of all, it varies across the genus, so it can grow as a tree, shrub, vine, or epiphyte. Secondly, it produces a fruit, a fig. Doesn't look exactly like this in the wild, but it does provide a vital food source for things like fruit bats, monkeys, hornbills, pigeons, and fig parrots. Yes, there's actually an animal called a fig parrot, which subsists almost entirely on figs. Now David, recognizing the importance of the humble ficus, collected species from throughout the world and has perhaps the most extensive collection of obscure ficus species in the country. And he attracted the attention of the Dutch botanist C.C. Berg, who was kind enough to send him four small seeds of the ficus trioni, which is a very rare specimen from the upper Amazon rainforest. And he had some luck getting them to germinate. And he sent one tree to the San Diego Zoo, one to Como Park in St. Paul, Minneapolis, planted one here, this one, and he kept one. Unfortunately, the one he kept and the two he sent away all died. So this is definitively the only ficus trioni left in North America. John Worth and David Dusnap shared their unique passions by planting the Chupa Chupa tree and the Ficus Triani here at the Bowles Conservatory. You can do your part too by planting a tree on Arbor Day, April 30th. And if you'd like to volunteer your talents here at the Oldbrook Botanical Gardens, you can check out our volunteer opportunities on the website. Please join us next month for another Garden to Glass virtual tour. Bye-bye.